rubber valve stems for your RV versus metal valve stems. We're gonna talk about this right now. Hey there, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. And for the first time ever, we're actually boondocking at a Cabela's somewhere in Nebraska. I think that's where we are. Yeah, Yoko and I are doing like a big cross country trip. And um, this is, I mean, we've done a lot of camping, a lot of places, especially threat like in the middle of nowhere in Utah, but it's the first time actually boondocking at a Cabela's or like a Walmart or that type of Cracker Barrel, that type of thing. It's fun. We had a really good night last night. We slept pretty well. However, um, as the review said, we're like right next to a train track and all night long trains were coming by and kind of either soothing or disturbing or somewhere in the middle. I kind of love trains, but um, these were long trains. Anyway, let's get into the subject of this video. Super, super important. So it starts out um, a couple years ago. I got a set of tire pressure monitoring system for my RV. And of course they're at, they're aftermarket and so you got that little thing you got to screw on the end to the very end of the um valve stem okay everything's good so um yoko and i were taking a trip to washington state to visit some family oh about oh about a year and a half ago or so and it was fairly soon after we got these tire pressure monitor systems so um we're driving along the interstate and all of a sudden I hear beep, 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 like we have a problem with one of our tires and it's going down very quickly. We stopped the RV and suffice it to say that we saw that um, it looked like air was coming out of the area where the valve stem was. In other words, there was like a leak beyond the valve stem and, and air was kind of escaping from, from, not from the valve stem itself, not from that little stem, but from like around it. So we, tried to jerry-rig something up and, and hobbled our way into a um, tire, into a tire store, and they, they uh, replaced the valve stem and didn't really think much of it. You know, these things happen. Well, two days later on the same trip, we're closer to Seattle, Washington, and the same thing happens with another tire. Now, I've never had a valve stem failure in my life. And now, granted, I haven't been driving an RV for more than a few years, maybe four years or so, but in my cars, I just never had like a valve stem fail. So again, I, I, my first thought was, and I called my buddy Mark, who's most likely watching this, we talk RV talk all the time. And we agreed that, you know, the tires, even though they looked pretty good and they didn't have a lot of high mileage on them at all, they were, they were a good five years old. So we agree that it's best to replace tires um, being five years old and uh, even if even if there's not a tremendous amount of mileage on, which I did and okay everything was fine did not have another problem took a long trip up into the Canadian Rockies had the tire pressure monitoring um, the sensors on there no, no problem whatsoever on this trip two days ago we had another tire valve tire valve blowout now, remember, these are brand new tires. I mean, the, 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 the brand new meaning they're a little over a year old and they don't have a ton of mileage because it's an RV and, you know, it's not it's not our everyday car, so we don't have a ton of mileage on them. They, they, the tires look fantastic. They look like they're brand new. But I had the same type of blowout. And again, after all the stress and anxiety of hobbling into, luckily, the, the um, there was a tire center about 10 miles away in the next town, which... Uh, it was stressful getting there because we had to inflate the tire and duct tape the valve. It was it was a mess, but we made it to the tire place and he re replaced the valve. And I said to him, why did this happen? These tires are pretty new. He said he doesn't really know. He said, you know, he said he's seen it happen a lot on old kind of rotted out rubber. But he said these are new. He said he didn't have an answer. So we replaced it. We replaced that one. And. We're driving along the road and this thought hit me. And I said to Yoko, I said, nobody seems to know this, but I have a feeling it has something to do with the sensors on the end of the valve stems that you screw on. They, they have a little bit of weight to them. They are not a lot, but they do have some weight, more, more so than just a regular end cap. And I said to Yoko, I said, I'm wondering whether the centrifugal force of 
driving down the road, it, the weather is kind of hot, and it's you know these things are going really fast around, and they've got some weight, and I wonder whether they have the ability to knock the rubber valve stem out of place. I said I'd never heard that. I've never heard anybody talk about it, but that's the only thing I can think of. These things are new. I talked to my buddy Mark. He said, why don't you call Truck System Technology? That's the company that uh, distributes or you know sells these tire pressure monitoring systems that I have. And I called them and I spoke to a really nice woman. I, I cannot remember her name, I'm so sorry. She was super, super nice to me. And I, I, I asked her point blank, I said, I'm not holding you to anything. I, just, I said, I just wanna know, I said, I just had this thought. Is it possible that the force of the, the weight from these sensors could loosen up or knock out a rubber valve stem? And she said, well, you know, we've got hundreds of thousands of these things on the road and it's, I don't really hear about this problem, but, but then, she leveled with me and she said, but to be totally honest with you and transparent, it kind of mean the same thing, right? In this case, she said, I have a friend who had a, I think she said he had a fifth wheel and he put the tire pressure monitoring system on it. And she said, um, in the, the, during the first day that he had these things on, um, uh, one of them knocked out a valve stem. So she said, your thinking is, although it's probably not a common thing, she said, yes, she thinks it can happen. And between her and some people on a Facebook group that I am active with and, and running these idea by them, we all said, or they all said, let's put, you should put metal valve stems on your wheels and your tires. And up until that time, I never heard of, I wasn't familiar with metal valve stems. And, and they said, well, they're, they're superior. They don't, they can't, since they're metal, they can't flex, they can't move. And I'm thinking, why, why didn't anybody ever tell me this in the past? I mean, are rubber valve stems perfectly acceptable for RVs with the heavy duty tires and the, the higher weight, higher PSI? So after some research, it sounded like metal valve stems were the answer to my problem. So I was in, uh, where was I? In, in somewhere in Wyoming, oh, outside of Cheyenne, Wyoming. And I talked to a couple tire dealers and they said they don't really stock them because there's not enough uh, need for them. People aren't requesting them and, and they're different sizes. And, and basically, I, I kind of got the run around a little bit, but I've, I figured out if I just walk, walked into a Napa store or similar and bought some, bought four of them, and then marched myself into a tire store, maybe I could get lucky enough to have somebody install these metal valve stems. Went into the Napa. The guy, again, he wasn't super, super familiar, but he did, so he referred me to another guy there who was, seemed to be more familiar, which leads me to believe that a lot of people don't use these metal valve stems. It's Napa store, they deal in auto parts. I mean, people are coming in all day long. And he said, this guy, first guy said he doesn't really see, that, see a lot of people asking for these, but the second guy knew a lot more. So I purchased four metal valve stems. They're good for two different size openings in the wheels. I don't even know my opening size, but he said these are the two most common. One of them is more for passenger cars. One of them is more for like heavier duty, you know, truck type, van type, RV type things, which you have. He said, he said these will definitely work. I bought four. They came, it, the total price came to about $18, something like that with tax. It was very, very inexpensive, $18. I asked him for a referral to a tire shop nearby that could do it. He sent me to one. They were, um, it was called like Fat Boy Tire or something. The guy was super nice. I think his name was, uh, what was his name? Jason. I got his card. I don't even remember his name. Jason or something like that, but that's probably not right. He said, hey, look, he'd love to do it for me. He said, it's going to be about two hours before anybody can get to it because they're super busy and he's got a technician that's out. I thanked him very much. I said, we're on the road. I really just don't want to wait two hours. I said, it, he said, but there's a place around the corner. Peerless tires for less, and there's a big sign on the on the on the on their building that says like we finance, and so <laughs> I figured I'm in the right place. So this guy Zach Baker, he's the manager. He said, yeah. He said I've got a couple flats I'm taking care of. He said I can get you right in. He said give me ten minutes. These were words to my ears, music to my ears. Ten minutes. I mean, so they got me in. He, I told him exactly what I wanted. He, they knew exactly. They, they, they did the job beautifully and I've got four metal 
valve stems on my RV, my pleasure way right now. And I want to show you in a second what they look like because it's night and day. And, and by the way, so between the charges, it was like $18 to buy the valve stems. Yeah, they're more expensive than the rubber ones. And between peerless tires um, charged to me, uh, he, he kind of almost apologized. He said, well, yeah, I got to charge you a little labor here. The charge was like $22. So for, oh, there's a train. I love the trains coming to back me. All night long we had these trains, but it was peaceful. It was kind of cool. I love trains. Um, so I, I hope you can hear me over the train noise. But um, he charged me like $22. So, so all in, all in for this entire job, $40 to have metal valve stems placed on my wheels. Um, we drove all day yesterday. Not that one day means anything, but zero problem. And I, I want to sh show you something else here. Let me, let's just take a look at them. I want to show you the difference between a metal valve stem and a rubber valve stem. So hang on, I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, so here's what the metal valve stem looks like. Now I've got the sensor on the end of it, so you can't really see it well, but you know, when you try to move a rubber valve stem around it, it, it can you can jiggle it around it. It's got some play in it. This has zero play. It's tight in there. You can't move it. So imagine driving along the road at 65 miles an hour or however however fast you go or we go. Um, there's no there's going to be no centrifugal force of this thing trying to work the rubber valve stem out of place. And as evidenced yesterday, we had zero problem. And I cannot see how anything could ever budge this thing because it's it's like really super, super, super tight in there. So there you have it, metal valve stems versus rubber. Um, as an RVer and as somebody who, I'm the RV dummy, somebody who just learned this, maybe you all know it, I don't know, I, I doubt it. I doubt everybody knows this or else somebody would have told me over the years. But if you have a choice of metal versus rubber, and another thing, another problem is the guy told me at Peerless Tires, he said, you know, the, the rubber valve stem that the guy put in yesterday to fix that one problem, he said, that's only rated to 65 PSI. Now, I don't know about your rig, but on my rig here, my rear tires have to be inflated to 80 PSI. So already we were like looking at failure um, if I hadn't done this like immediately. So guys and gals, please check your valve stems I'm going to highly recommend. It's a very, very inexpensive process to have them change to metal, especially if you're running aftermarket tire pressure monitoring system, the um, sensors that, that have some weight to them. I highly recommend. In fact, I see no reason to be running a vehicle with rubber valve stems now that I know these metal ones are available. I mean, a car, a passenger car, yeah, fine, no problem. But a big RV, you're driving around, I, I only see using metal valve stems, for me at least, into the future, now and into the future. That's what I have to share with you. I hope this helps at least one person, hopefully more. Until next time, I'm Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. See you later. Some, somewhere in Nebraska.